Okay, so I've never seen that before. I don't even know if this is the first fight or not, but whatever. I'm back. I just wanted to pick up a couple coins, but I guess that's too much to ask for. So, it's still doing tutorial shit. I still know how to play the game. Um, excuse me, that was the wrong button. Higher ground, stuff like that. So, we've got one idiot there, two, three, four idiots. Five idiots. I don't really think of high ground as... I don't know, it's going to sound dumb, but I don't really think much of it. I mean, like, yeah, I can shoot them right now, and that's fine, but it's like... Unless I'm out of the way, I don't really find it as a thing I go out of my way for, I guess. All that matters is, can I hit you, yes or no? And I mean, there's not really too much I need to do as far as running after anybody. Like, this will be good. Uh, that's a 50-50 shot. I probably should have put Mario over there first and then shot. It would have made more sense. Oh well, let's get rid of them. Because I always focus on trying to move around and stuff. And yeah, you can just run or jump off at any point. And like, we are going to need to go around there so we can get to Homeboy. <sighs> I guess we can leave Luigi and just let Peach do it. I don't think she's going to be in any sort of... Well, I guess that's the best situation where it's a hundred. Because that was basically what I was thinking about. And then, and with her being down there, we can put the shield on her to protect her. That'll be fine, I guess. Because that was the thing I was considering. was like, anyone we put down there is probably going to try and get tackled or something like that. But I, I just don't think about like the high ground thing as that big of a deal because fucking all it takes is one of those idiots to just walk around and then they're on the high ground too and it doesn't matter. So it's just not a super big deal to me. It's convenient, yes, but it's rarely a thing where I'm like, Oh man, I've got to get to high ground! You know, because see, look, look, there he is. And look, he shot me. I wouldn't say defeatist... I would say I'm aware of things, so before you go around trying to call me negative or whatever the hell, it's just like, no, it just doesn't really matter. Like, it doesn't matter how well you strategize, you're more than likely still probably going to get shot by somebody. Like, I, I feel like it's just kind of an inevitability. Yes, you could probably do it perfectly, and I'm sure there's probably playthroughs on YouTube of it perfectly, but... Not right here, don't want to take that chance. I need to try and hit the right buttons, maybe. Unfortunately... I mean, I'd rather focus on this guy, so we'll just sit next to him, because at least we'll be covered from the other area. Which is kind of what I was thinking about. All right now, we're kind of just ganging up on, like, one guy at a time, instead of... Multiple, uh, double teaming anyone. Because there's not too much as far as reach we can do. And um, we'll put him down there and we'll try and take a shot, but I don't know how successful it'll actually be. And I'm pretty sure being high ground does not change the fact of brick is in way, yes or no, and that's it. Like, it, you could still get blocked by it. And as far as them collecting coins, I actually don't know if that matters at all. Truth be told, that's been a thing I've thought about, but it's not often that it's a situation for concern. You didn't need to do that at all. See, like, it's still 50. So, put you there. Oh, he's out, out, okay. Um, there's no one we can shoot at. We can, like, destroy the bricks at best, and that's it. This is, like, I can, I can run over there myself. 
I'm going to leave him because Mario can go for it, so I'm going to focus more on this guy first. Because if I focus on the other guy, then it's out of Mario's range. Just barely. Okay. Well, since he just barely lived, we're going to make it so there's only one enemy to focus on instead of two. I mean, no matter what, there's only going to be one. Oh, well. Go ahead, give me a tackle, or run. I could just run down there, maybe? Kick him? He'll still live, because I think he'll just 20. Yeah. So I say, it happens a lot where I end up finishing something and then there's like barely one turn. Could have done it in three, but nah. It's fine, I'm not sour about it. I just think it's a funny thing. Alright, I wasn't imagining that the leaf did in fact do that. Coins! Yeah, because see, what I wanted to do was start the session, just run around, grab a bunch of coins off screen so this way I could have extra. I actually forgot mushrooms were even in the game, if I'm honest. Wow. Oh, okay, I was actually kind of expecting Beepo to chime in and say something, but I guess not. Alright, so here's first boss fight. And I think all of the bosses are very fun. The downside to all of the bosses, though, is that they're also very long. So we got Parabid Plant there, and I think it's only... I mean, I see that idiot, but I think the only real focus is Parabid Plant. So... How can do... I'm thinking, sorry. I'm thinking about distance, because like, regardless of where we move, we're not going to be able to hit him. We'd have to move out of our way to set up for that. Can Mario reach that far, or no? No. So we'd have to put to the block right here instead. Which is a small liability. But I'm thinking hero sided as well, if we can. Then we can do this. Yeah, it says 100. Now see, this puts Mario in the line of fire. But, I mean, it's also good. Because we got to be able to hit him. And you see, it's got a lot of health too, so... Each should be fine. It just kind of comes down to if we can go after that other dude or not. Which, it looks like the only pipes are just up like that. She can't reach any of them. So I guess we'll just move her, like, right here, and that's about the best. I mean, we could also put her right here. The best we could do. They're both liable to get burned, but... I don't want to take that chance, and then they shoot the box like an idiot. See, that isn't nice. I don't think we're going to be very lucky with any of our abilities, either.
Okay, so... Oh, there's another guy. Oh, I didn't actually know about that one. Be okay. So first things first, we definitely do want to shoot with Peach because we'll hit the box. And that determines where they go and what move to make next. Grab coin, and there should be one near, yeah, a couple near Maru. And we can cover here and shoot the guy, I guess. Because I don't think we'll be able to reach the plant. Another thing is, a lot of the bosses outside of just being mega fun are also pretty creative, too. So, like, it's cool to see them take Mario enemies and make them, you know, different, I guess? Put their own little spin on it, I guess? There's one at the very end that I really liked, but in essence it actually is kind of like a half-assed thing. So it's like, it kind of sucks when you really think, oh, I hate that, when you really think about it, but all the same, I like that they even tried. Put you over here, I guess. You should be fine. Hi! Friends? And yes, sometimes if they're burning, they can touch someone else and cause them to burn as well. Since we didn't see that, and I don't know if I said it. I know I mentioned burning. But I think this is the first time we'll actually see it in action, so... We want to try and keep these guys alive if we can. And right now, uh, Luigi's not looking all that great. None of us really are looking great. Yeah, and I can't heal. Just go ahead and blast him just to do something. And then we'll go ahead and just take out this guy just to get him out of our fucking life. You see, the thing that gets me about it, and I don't think they're going to do it this early, is sometimes they do spawn more enemies as you do stuff like this. So that's kind of why like there's a bit of reluctancy on my behalf, is because I'm like, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't think even there I can hit him. I mean, I can hit him from here if I move forward, definitely. I was also trying to think about where Mario was. I don't know where Mario is right now. Peach is fine. It's Luigi that's the concern. Go ahead and do a dash into you to get you... Uh... Yeah, hopefully that means I don't know if I would put me at a zero. Who could probably still shoot me if you wanted to. Ow! We're alright. Yeah, I figured he could still shoot me. I was like, well, I can't hit him. Maybe he can't hit me. I'm like, no, he's, he's good. He's whipping our ass. We are all getting knocked around. All right, hold on a second. I need to get these coins first. It's important. Well, here, let's shoot him while he's... I don't know why that's 100. Is it because of how tall he is? That zero puts him on burn. I believe we can tackle. Yeah. Um. It's not in the best point. We'll put him right here. Can't shoot. So he hasn't really been close enough for us to do that before, which is why we haven't. Um, 
I don't really think there's a benefit to doing anything over here. I need to look in, because I think there actually is a setting where I can turn that off. I need to look into it. Or just hide here, it'll be okay. Put our shield on just in case. Let's see what Luigi... Of course his ass can't reach. Alright, well we should be able to kill him regardless. Because he doesn't have much health. Wow! The very last shot and something happens. Okay, yeah, we don't need to worry about the other guy. I don't know how that name is actually pronounced, so, um, just throwing that out there, I apologize. Four out of eight! That wasn't bad, that was pretty good. Brother, where art thou? Oh, wow, cute. Alright, so, if I'm honest, I thought Luigi didn't join up until later. Like, I thought it wasn't until chapter two? I remember for a fact when our next character joins. Yeah, skill tree, and then other stuff. I don't have a type of compatible amiibo. I don't know if any of them are compatible. All I have is Samus, so I have a very, um, I'm very doubtful that it is compatible. No, wrong button. We need X. 